teens from all around New York City marching across the Brooklyn Bridge, raising their voices with one mission. Nobody actually talks about it. It's always talking about uh, actual domestic violence, but not specifically in teenagers, which is extremely violent, not only online, but in person. According to the Healing Center, sexual assault and teen dating violence affect one in three teenagers. These types of unhealthy relationships lay the groundwork for future you know, trauma and, and even future relationships that are also unhealthy. So we start to be young, educational awareness. And the Healing Center aims to take this teen dating violence awareness walk to a national level. Every year, the walk takes place during the month of April, which is also Sexual Assault Awareness Month. So when we talk about teen dating violence, people don't make the connection between sexual violence as well. We're boys, we're girls, are also affected by sexual violence. Parents, advocates, community members and elected officials joining in to take a stand against teen dating violence and sexual assault. We definitely know that there has been an uptick in violence, both in domestic violence and violent relationships. Um, and so we've got to figure out ways to address that and also ways for young people in particular to understand that there are definitely different ways to engage. Love is respect! Love is respect! Based on statistics by the Healing Center, an estimated 40.4% of female victims were first raped before turning 18, and an estimated 21.3% among male victims. There are signs that someone might be experiencing teen dating violence. If people are able to know about teen dating violence, they might be able to do something about it if they like spot signs about it.